All right, guys. So uh, basically, um, let's start with the convert option, okay? So I will show you how to sell, how to withdraw, how to convert, and all of that. Now, if your hamster combat token is less than, let's say, ten dollars or thereabout, you may not be able to sell on the spot market, okay? Whether on buy bid or on binance, all right? Um, so basically, if you come to spot, okay, you can see. Let me get my marker so that you'll be able to see what I'm doing on the screen. I'll be able to mark them for you um, to see what I'm doing here, okay? Once you open up your Bybit app, you will see spot here, right? So on the spot option, you want to make sure that up here you are on the sell, okay? And you're on the sell option. Once you go to the sell option, you will see your tokens here. Whatever tokens you withdrew, if you use Bybit for your exchange, okay, you'll see that right there. So just make sure that you use the slider, all right? slide it to the end and you'll see at the current price okay at the current price my token is worth three dollars okay um it was one more than this but it's, it keep dropping and all of that so if i go ahead and click on sell i don't know if that will go through whoa i was just doing this thing for demonstration purpose <laughs> okay but uh did it go okay it's pending right you can see there it didn't go through so once the price gets to that level it will just sell automatically for you all right, it will just sell automatically for you. Now, once it sells, you will now be having USDT in your account, okay? Well, let me just cancel that for now. I'm not ready to sell that right yet. Okay, now, if it don't, if the sell doesn't go through, if you don't have up to maybe five, three dollars that can go through the sell option, what you will now do is to use the convert option, okay? Please help me unmute your mic. I'm still talking. Help me unmute your mic. So you use the convert option. Go ahead and click on the convert option on the uh, trade uh, the trade option on the spot. You pay fees, all right? So use the convert option here where you see BTC or whatever token you see up here. Okay, click on the arrow in front of that token. Just click on the token itself, and then you want to go ahead and search for the hamster HM. Okay, and all of that. The ticker is HMSTR. So click on it. And then you want to convert to USDT. So if there is no, if USDT is not the one here, make sure you click on it and select USDT. All right. So right here, you just click on max. Um, okay. I think you will need to transfer your token. My token is on the spot wallet. All right. So you will need to transfer your hamster token. So just click on the transfer option right here. Okay. If I click on that transfer option, you can now transfer your hamster token. Let that load up. Let me show you. Okay. Since it's on the spot, or the convert only works with um, with tokens on your funding wallet. All right. So you want to make sure you are convert, you are transferring from spot, okay, to funding wallet. All right. So you click on max and then you click on confirm down here. Uh, let me just do that. It won't cost me anything actually. So just transfer um, to the funding wallet. And then right here and now click on max you can see the token right there okay once you click on max you click on quote once you click on quote it will tell you how much you'll be receiving you see it right here okay if this resonates with you go ahead and click on confirm and you are good to go so that will automatically convert your hamster combat to usdt all right now that you already have the usdt in your funding wallet the next thing is to sell this usdt to your bank account Okay, so how do you do that? You go back to, you know, the home page right here, okay? Uh, once you go back to the home page, you want to click. If you see P2P here, you go ahead and click on it. My own P2P is showing there, but if you don't see it, click on more, okay? So once you click on more, you should be able to see P2P somewhere around there, okay? So look for P2P anywhere around there. Uh, P2P, that, that is it. Okay, you see P2P trading, go ahead and click on that. Okay, now once I click on the P2P right there, it should take me to the P2P marketplace. This is where you can now sell your USDT to your bank account. Okay, so click on got it. Just follow the on screen instruction new listing, hamster combat token. Uh, guys, the link to grab this your share, okay, of the seven. Uh, 700,000 token is available on Telegram, okay? Um, if you are seeing this on YouTube, it will be available there. So now, this is the P2P marketplace. You want to leave buy and go to sell, all right? Once you go to the sell option, 
you want to let's say my three dollars um currently this is what is trading if you want to sell to this person this person here this is the person by bid is currently promoting that has done over thirty one thousand uh, uh three thousand one hundred and eight or so uh transaction okay so if you want to sell to this person you will be selling at one thousand six hundred and seventy four per dollar okay so if i want to sell to this person i'll just go ahead and click on the sell for instance but here before i click on that sell the limit this person is ready to buy is from eighty thousand and above my three dollars will not be worth eighty thousand right so one thing i can do is to go ahead and click on this area here that says amount all right so i click on amount let me just assume that that three dollars is three thousand now so i just go ahead and type three thousand right here and then click on confirm now once i click on confirm okay um yeah this person because it's the top rated it, it will always be there but look at here i can sell to this person because it's buying from 400 okay i can sell to this person but one thing you should note here is that i'm eligible ineligible to sell to this person okay i'm ineligible to sell to this person now how do i take care of this i'll go ahead and click on this filter option right here okay so i just click on need and then i want to show ads okay normally i check the two show ads from only eligible ads, and then show ads from verified measures so this eligible and um, verified mission will be able to save me str the stress of sending money or the person refuses to send the money and claiming that he has sent okay so click on confirm and then mm -hmm. it will now show me only eligible ads okay but right now the price has dropped <laughs> Okay, so I'll be selling at 1550 all right? And uh, this person is ready to buy from 1000 to around 13, um, 23 million. So click on sell to that person. And then right here, your USDT will be showing up, okay, right here. Just click on all. But since I didn't sell, I don't have USDT to sell right here, okay? So you click on all, and then you'll be able to see the equivalent of the Naira you'll be receiving, okay? And this person will send the money to your bank account. Now, if you don't have your bank account already on your Bybit, you just click on this add, okay, payment methods, okay? Click on this add payment methods and just follow the on-screen instruction. Now, when you are doing your verification, Bybit automatically pick your name. So make sure that the name you are putting here rhymes or the account number you are putting here rhymes, rhymes with the name on your Bybit account, okay? So click on it and then just add your phone number. It will ask you to do two-factor authenticator and all of that. Follow the on-screen instruction, add your details. But if you already have your details, just click on it and select. Okay, you can add, you know, two, three uh, different accounts and all of that. Select and uh, click on it, select the one you want. And after that, click on sell. Okay, so the person will have access to your account number. They are going to do a transfer. Once you see the transfer and you confirm it from your bank that that transfer has entered, you will see an option here that says, yes, I have released them. I have received the money, release it, okay? You go ahead and release that and do your two-factor authenticator and that is it you have successfully sold your um hamster combat or your usdt to your naira account okay so basically i've showed you how to sell on spot all right i showed you how to sell on spot i showed you how to convert i should I, I just showed you how to sell to your bank account if you want to do that with binance okay you just go to the binance app all right once you go to the Binance app, you can see right here. If you are, if you don't have Hamster Combat token, select whatever, click whatever is there, and then select. Look for the Hamster Combat token. Then you go to the sell option. Okay. So whatever token you have here, uh, make sure that you are selling at the current market price. Okay. And then you use a slider. Okay. My three hundred token here is just worth two dollars. And then you go ahead and click on the sell option. Okay. And then total order value should be more than five dollars. Binance. If you don't have up to $5, you'll not be able to sell, okay? So that's basically it. You will not be able to sell on the spot market. Now, let's see if the Hamster Combat Convert option is available on Binance. You click on the Convert option, okay? Once you click on the Convert option, the same thing I showed you on Bybit, okay? Uh, the same thing I showed you is just the same thing you would do here. So once this Convert page opens up, let's wait for it to load up, all right? Here, the default token here is TRL, so click on Need and search for hamster if it is available we'll be able to see it okay search for hm yeah it is so click on it all right and then you'll be able to click on max click on max right here and the token is there okay then we want to convert it not to trs click on the trs option and select usdt okay 
So you want to convert this to USDT. You just go ahead and click on the trade option and you are good to go. Your token is successfully converted. Okay. Now the disadvantage with Binance is that if you're in Nigeria, you cannot sell this USDT you are converting to your bank account because P2P is not enabled. And now you will now start struggling to withdraw this $2 to buy it. Before you withdraw this $2 to buy it, maybe 40 cents would have gone or $1.2 would have gone depending on the network that you are using. Okay, depending on the network that you are using. But BEP20, okay, the Binance Smart Chain is cheaper. Tune is equally cheaper. But maybe those Tune network and the rest could be busy right now. So use either Tune. Don't use TROC20. Don't use EROC20. Use BEP20. Use Tune. Okay, or Solana Network, anyone that is supported, okay, that is available for you, use it to withdraw your token. Okay, use it for instance. If I go to the wallet option and I go to spot and I go to withdraw on Binance and I want to withdraw hamster, you see it is suspended. I cannot, let's see, send to crypto wallet. And uh, yeah, it is on the tone blockchain. I think that is if you are withdrawing USDT actually. Okay, if you are withdrawing USDT, you have the option to sell it. Now, I don't have USDT, so it won't give me the option to sell USDT, okay? You have the option to withdraw your USDT to via the two network, via, you know, the BEP20 network, and all of those different, different networks, all right? So you can do that. But the thing is, if you just have $3, withdrawing it from here and the rest will give you a headache. That is why I always advise, do your airdrop, okay? For the sake of selling to your bank account, do your airdrop directly to buy B. But some of you will say, ah, Binance price is always higher. Now, if the Binance price is always higher, do you sell at that high price? You won't be able to sell at that high price. Even if you see that Binance price has gone up to, to $2 or whatever, were you able to sell at that $2? All right? So stop giving yourself a necessary headache. And one thing I want you to avoid is this thing. The same thing I'm showing you here is what this guy was complaining here. Let me share my, my, uh, my laptop screen to show you. This is why you should always use, okay, your buy, um, uh, what's it called? You should always use your buy bit to withdraw your airdrop. If you know that your intention is to withdraw your token to your bank account, always use buy bit. This is it, okay? This guy said, I do cartism, but then give me only one carty. So I move and go Binance. So I sell one carty for one USDT on listing date. But person say make a mover go by bid so that so I come transfer the one USDT then come out gas fee one USDT but until now I never see shishi for my buy bid account. I beg those of you now where go school. How you go transfer one USDT? I be the person no understand waiting be gas fee. You transfer one USDT they remove one USDT for gas fee. And you still expect to see something for, for Binance, for Bybit. I don't understand. The person don't understand what it be gas fini. See that USDT when they withdraw, they don't deduct them. You not go see anything. Okay? You not go see anything. Stop giving yourself stress and all of that. So next time, try to withdraw your airdrop to Bybit. It doesn't cost anything. Stop saying the price on Binance, even if the price is higher. The price cannot be as high as that. The, the, it cannot be too obvious. Like, you know, the difference will not be that much. Okay? So if you if your intention is to withdraw your token and sell immediately to bank, but if the airdrop gives you like $100, it, it doesn't cost anything to spend $5 uh, or to spend $1 or $2 withdrawal withdraw fee. Okay? But airdrops like this, I just give you $2, $3. On buy you just convert everything, sell it directly to your bank account, and you're good to go. A user and go pay half of your data. That's like my wife said, I should sell her own. Maybe she use and go cook soup. <laughs> I said, I don't understand. How much soup will you cook with? Let's say 5,000 naira or whatever. At right now, okay? Right now in this country. Okay? So that's basically it. I hope you understand that. Right? You can convert. I've showed you how to convert. I've showed you how to withdraw, how to sell on spot and the rest, okay? If you have questions, I will not take those questions and uh, we'll call it a day. So go ahead. Give me um, if you have questions, go ahead and ask all your questions and let's see how we can address all of that. Okay. Contributions. If there's anything I don't, I didn't mention, please go ahead and ask all those questions right now. Let's um, proceed. Any question? Are we all cleared? Do you all understand? Can you now sell and uh, withdraw to bank? Yeah. By the way, guys, you can still participate in the 2000 um, token that Bybit is giving out. Okay. 
uh we still have a few hours left the link is in the telegram platform okay you can still get those token if you want all you just need is make a deposit sign off a new bible that can using the campaign link okay make a deposit of hundred dollars and um, you are good to go any question do you understand guys okay if you all understood what i just explained now can we call it a day here okay yeah i'll take your silence for you yes so thank you so much guys for being here um i do appreciate i'll see you guys um if there are no questions no contributions i'll see you guys later please look at the market and see you know trees that you can take okay see trees that you can take and all of that btc is doing great but i feel that btc will start selling from that level up there okay I, but i'm still holding on tight to my long trees anyway can i ask a question different from what we yes are any anything yeah different from what i've explained go ahead please hey um usually when the signal drop at times when i entered with limit with limit entry it doesn't usually trigger but uh within let me say some minutes or hours most of the time you usually drop the profit maybe 40 percent profit and the one i entered is there to trigger don't really understand what is happening there you get my question yes i do and uh, this thing is is you applying your your common sense okay um when when i drop a signal you cannot expect the the market to be waiting for me until my signal comes to you definitely before you finish arranging even if you are using the board no matter how fast the board is before that signal drops okay there will be like two three seconds delay before that signal drops on telegram the market is already firing up guys the market is already fired most especially in a very volatile market it is not left to you to say okay i'm going to enter at market price even if i say enter this trade at market price my entering price and your own can never be the same is it i'm entering earlier than you because i was the one that gave the call or we are entering with slight difference so it is not left to you to look at the chart or look at the 15 minutes time frame and say okay I will join this market with market order because in most cases if it keeps firing up it may not come back to your entry until tp1 or tp2 is reached okay and in most cases to hit tp1 and still come back to your entry and pick your entry and still go back to that tp1 or tp2 so use your own discretion in this uh, because there is no way i would drop a signal and the price will remain the same except if that market is not moving Okay, that is when the price will remain the same for you to enter and all of that. So in most cases, it goes up, it comes back to the entry. In most cases, it continues to go up. So it is not left for you to now say, okay, I will use market order. If the, if the difference is not that much, I can do market order, all right? Or I can do limit and wait for it. If it doesn't trigger in one hour, two hours, I cancel the trade and wait for another opportunity. It's as simple as that, right? Understood. Do you understand that? Understood. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Hello, okay, sir. any any other question? Hello, sir. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you? I'm good, and you? So I, I'm good. I can't say much, a lot, but I wanted to start with thank you, thank you, thank you for giving us your time and teaching us all this kind of thing. Secondly, <clears throat> what I wanted to ask, mostly if I am trading at times, when my cat wanted to hit my stop loss. So at times I will move my stop loss down. And again, my cat will hit that stop loss. If I am risking like $4, like I'm trading with $10. For instance, I'm giving a, I'm citing an example. Are you hearing, sir? Yes, I'm hearing you. So I will, I will, I will risk like $4 and I will be in profit of, if it hits my TP, I will be in profit like of $8. So when the market come to my stop loss and hits, so I will blow all the accounts mostly. So is that because of I am using high leverage or what caused that? I thought say if it hits my SN, it will just pick out four dollars and left the remaining for me. Hmm. Okay. Um 
Ah, God in heaven. I think there is a video that I was talking about. I, I had one argument with one of you on the on, on Telegram one time like that. And I made a video explaining that. Okay. Now, when you are going into trading, there are things you need to take into consideration. Number one is your position size. The position size is, you know, the margin you are entering that trade with. Okay, at times it could be ten dollars, hundred dollars, one thousand dollars, five dollars, zero point five dollars, and all of that. That's number one thing to consider. Number two is the leverage. Okay, and then number three is the particular token you are you are trading. The volatility in crypto, in all crypto pairs, are not the same. Okay, there are tokens that the the spread is is like just for instance. Let me even use hamster combat token for instance. Okay, now look at hamster. Um, let's say from here, if for instance, I'm buying hamster combat right here. Okay. Uh, if I'm buying hamster combat right here and I want to sell right here. Okay. Let just from here to here. Let me see if I can mark those areas. Okay. Let me see if I can mark those area. Let's say here, I want to sell up here. Okay. Let me bring it here. And then duplicate this down here. All right. You see between here and here, if I'm selling right here, if I'm buying right here to sell up there. Okay. If I want to sell up there, let's, let me give you an instance. So bring my measurement to, so from here up there, you see that is already up by 12%. Okay. It is already up by 12%. Mm -hmm. Now let me do this with, with another token. If I do this with any other token, like, um, I think this is one minute time frame LTP, which is the one I'm looking at right now. Let me go to that one minute time frame. Okay. Let me go to that one minute time frame. And then I go ahead and mark this area and then mark this low here too. This one is a bit bigger than that one, but just assume that you buy from here and you're targeting to take TP up there. Okay. If I bring that measurement to again, do from here you see that this one alone okay is 1.9 percent why this one is already 12 percent so you see that the spread on these two tokens are not the same thing okay these are things too you need to equally put in consideration because if this one dumps by one percent and i'm using a 10x leverage that is just minus 10 percent if this particular one here dumps by one percent in fact, the one percent here will be like twelve percent. So if it dons by or goes up by twelve percent or dons by twelve percent, it is already minus one twenty percent. If I'm using leverage, like a ten s leverage, this is already minus one twenty percent. Normally, your margin is supposed to carry you between zero percent to hundred percent. Now, because fee is included, there is what we call in fisher in perpetual contract that we trade. There's what we call funding rate. Fee is included at the exchange collect. Funding rate is there that you can either pay to the person who is holding a uh, trade. All of those things are deducted from that trade you enter. So instead of getting liquidated at exactly that, if we use isolated margin, instead of getting liquidated at exactly 100%, your liquidation could either be at 96% or 94%, right? Now, when you now increase your leverage to 50x leverage, to 100x leverage, and all of that, the liquidation is closer too. So you must use, until you understand how leverage and position size and how to blend these two, you must use very low leverage. And I normally recommend anything from 3x leverage at most 10x leverage, but 10x leverage is still very high. Now, if you are somebody who uses a margin, your position size is always $100, $200, $1,000. You don't have any business except you understand what you are doing. You understand how that market move. You understand how that pay move. You don't have any business with anything more than 7x leverage. If you are just starting, if you know what you are doing, you can use even 1,000x leverage. You can use 2,000x leverage, no wala. But if you don't understand anything yet, if you are still very confused about blending leverage, position size, and all of that, then use anything between 3 at most 10x leverage. Because the higher the leverage, the quicker you get taken out of the market. And before you enter any trade, Bybit will always, once you click on either open, long, or short, they will always show you a summary. If you have stopped that, that summary page from showing, please go and activate it back. 
that will show you a summary that this is where you are entering. This is where you set your TP. This is where you set your SL. This is where you will get liquidated. If the liquidation price is, be, uh, let's say, before your stop loss, you are doing something wrong. You don't need to enter that trade because you will get liquidated even when you set that stop loss. Some of us don't read those details. Even when they give you a warning, you don't read it, you go ahead and open. And then when you hit stop loss, you are not saying, ah, why did you hit stop loss and the rest? Okay? So please and please try to make sure that, for instance, on isolated margin, to make you understand this thing better. If I've taken this trade that I'm showing you and it's giving you, let's say from here, let's assume that that was your stop loss. If it is minus 12%, your liquidation will come and then maybe you're putting your stop loss at minus 15% and you're using isolated margin. Your liquidation will come before that stop loss because normally your liquidation is supposed to be around 94, 95, 96%. And then you're using 12x leverage, we are 12, uh, 10x leverage and the market is already going against you by minus 12%. That is minus 120%. You cannot be in the market until minus 120%, except you are using cross margin. So these are some of the little, little things we, we need to understand. Okay, so what I want you to do now is next time, reduce the leverage. Even if it is $10 you are using for that free, reduce the leverage to 5X, 6S, 7S. Don't go above that 7S leverage and then see, you know, how the market, you would be able to deal with the market. Instead of getting liquidated, you see that you hit... Um, and then if you use, another thing you should notice that if you use cross margin, okay, even when the exchange said the estimated, your estimated uh, losses will be $4, once you are using cross margin, at the end of the day, you'll be losing more than $4. Because if your stop loss, let's say you use 10x leverage and your stop loss is minus 12%, once it start going minus 90%, the exchange will start collecting money from your account to blend, to make up your margin, okay? they will automatically start adding margin to your position. They'll start adding margin to your position. And as it's going, you are losing more. So with cross margin, when you are losing, you lose more than you make profit, than you make money. When you are making profit, it is that margin you enter the trade with that they are doing. But once you are losing, okay, for as long as you've exceeded your liquidation price, you know, whenever you enter a trade, there is a limit to what your money can carry. Once you exhaust your money, the exchange will not allow you to lose their own money. So is either they liquidate you or if you use cross margin, they will start deducting money from your account and be adding up. Okay. When the whole of your account can no longer carry with cross margin, they will liquidate you and all of that. All right. I don't know if what I'm trying to explain here, you are trying, you are following up. I'm following. Okay. I've pointed, yeah. I've, I've pointed a lot of things. So for now, use 5S leverage. Even if your margin is $10, $5, use 5S leverage. Once you begin to understand this thing gradually, okay, for me personally, what I do is I use, I can use 75X leverage. I can use 100S leverage when I know that I have time for the chart. Okay. Just like BTC, I entered BTC this morning before it started pumping and I said, I'm only looking for 100%. So I use 100X leverage just within minutes. It gave me that 100% and the trade closed. And then if I have to allow the trade to run, what I will basically do is to, you know, just excuse myself and then move stop loss either to entry or slightly above entry, okay? Or if I have TP1, TP2, TP3, and I know that TP1 is already achieved, I'll move stop loss to TP1 and I can go about my daily activity. So is either I'm closing the trade with that TP1 or it continues to go up and I go and hit my TP. So if you want to use high leverage, make sure that you are there you are using tight stop losses and the rest. If you want to open a trade that you are going to hold for long, use low leverage. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. It. Yeah, you're welcome. Yep. Yeah. So any any other question? Hi, Mr. Leo. Yeah, good yes, evening. Uh, Mr. Leo, good evening. Yeah, good, good evening, sir. Good evening, uh, uh, my own is just a kind of uh, appreciation. Uh, I really want to thank you so much because uh, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. There is not, nothing you learn today that is a loss or waste. Yeah, because That's right. uh, buying your cost has actually exposed me more with the little experience I have in the market uh, before. Uh, 
I love in investing in knowledge. So though some you might meet some people, it might look as if you are just wasting your money doing that, but it's very much important. And there are people who know they really are not using a big terminologies to confuse their student. So one thing I love about your uh, program is you don't he just use high uh, terminologies, crypto terminologies that will just uh, be somebody out of the space, but it's just something you can just use little English to explain to your to your student or mentees for them to pick up. So really, I'm very grateful uh, meeting your uh, your handles and uh, be following you all this way. Yeah, there's been a great change uh, in the way I, I tried. Though we learn every day from our mistakes, uh, even on the leverages you are talking about, sometimes, you know, you might be pushed. Oh, I'm getting it right. Let me put, let me uh, increase my mm -hmm. leverage. But at the end of the day, if anything should happen, you empty your account. So, sir, I am very much exactly. Grateful. Thank you for what you are doing. And don't uh, sometimes I, I listen way. when you say uh, most of us who don't appreciate, even when it's a free signal, you know. So, but don't let that uh, stop you. Don't let that stop you from what you are you are doing. You are really helping a, a whole lot of people here. You know, currently the country is too bad, and uh, if someone can use his or her smartphone smartly. And meeting people like you online, I think if we are blaming the government, I don't, I don't see the any reason you can blame the government because even with ten thousand, with uh, fifty thousand, you can start up something. Uh, with persistency, you can become something in your life if you are really serious. So, Mr. Leonard, I'm very grateful for meeting you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. It's a pleasure meeting you too. Thank you so much for that. I do appreciate. It. Um, okay, so yeah, any other question, any other contribution, guys? Uh, um, I just want to ask a little thing about uh, taking profit at 20, uh, 40%, 60%, 80%, 100%. Yeah, I, um, I usually get confused. Like, how do we put the uh, set the profit percentage? Like, taking the profit at 40%, then still stay in the trade and taking it at uh 60% then still be in the trade to 100%. How do you, how do we do that? <laughs> okay, so let me quickly share my phone screen again to show you how that uh, works. Uh, phone 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 where is it? <laughs> anyway, okay, I'm still on with the phone. So um Okay, I don't have a running trade on this account I'm using, but let me just give you, let me, uh, where is the share screen again? Let me just give you an idea, okay? Let me just give you an idea of how that works. I don't have a running trade here. Okay, guys, this is of a thing. Assuming I bought, I think I would have added to my position here because look at that, at 20%, if you put $100 in this thing, okay, it will just give you, uh, you know, small, small money and all of that. All right, so there's no running trade here, yeah? but I'll just quickly show you how that works, okay? And then I think if there is no other question, we can call it off here so that we can look for signals to trade it. All right, now I'll go to derivatives, okay? And then when when a trade is already running, okay? When you have a trade that is already running, you will see details right here, okay? And then by the right here, you will see where it says close by. All right. When you see that close by option, when you see that close by option, all you just need to do, um, do I have, I don't have, okay, there's no money to open any trade on this account right now, even though I would have showed you that. When you see that close by option, if you click on the close by option, you have the option to close the whole trade. You will see, 10%, 20%, all of those details that you can, by default, it will select 100%. If you click on confirm, it will just close the whole trade. But if you want to now start closing, let's say 20% at TP1, 30% at TP2, at the top, you will see where it says market, which is the one that is selected by default. 
maybe I'll just do a video when I have a trade on that. I think I have a video on that already. I will share it now. I have to close partials, okay? I will share it now. Then you will now say that if it gets to this price, which is TP1 price, I want to close 20% of my position. Let's say it costs you $10 to enter that trade. The 20% you are closing is 20% of that $10. And then the remaining $8 will be there. If TP2, you want to close another 40%, now, remember that you've already closed 20%. You now have $8 as a margin. Now, the 40% you want to close now is 40% of the remaining $8. Okay? You close that again, and then you now set either your tip, your uh, stop loss to TP1 and all of and it will continue to run. So when you can set to close your trade at each level, each TP level, until it gets to the last TP level. Okay? So I'll, make, I'll share that video right now uh, once I drop this call. If you don't have to take partials and all of that, I'll share it so that you go and look at it. If you don't understand it, when next we have the live stream, I might have, have some trades and I'll show you how to do that practically online. But I have a video on that. I'll share it after. And I think it's just about two, three minutes or so. Right? Any, any other question? Not at all, sir. Thank you very much, sir. All right. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your time. I do appreciate. Okay. Yeah. Go sell your hamster combat token if you want to. Me, I'm just looking at, you know, buying and selling the hamster token and, um, you know, making small, small profit before the day runs out and see what happens. Hello, sir. Hello. Thank you very much. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Who is speaking, please? Okay, sir. I can hear you. You are sounding very far from your device. Go ahead, Sorry, go ahead. Okay, I follow, thank you very much for the signals you give to us. I follow it very well. But sometimes I, I come late, but then I, I try to adjust. But there's a thing that I want, there's a thing I'm doing, which I know I want to know whether I'm, I'm risking too much. Eh? So there are some trades that I'll set stop loss. And then when I wake up, the thing that sees my stop loss, they take me out and I'm going back up because I, I slept, that kind of thing. So it's, must I always monitor because at that if it's getting to my stuff, like it's on my way, I'll be shifting small, shifting small, but sometimes I will shift and the thing going down. And if I close it, it will now come up. I'll be regretting high. I wish I stayed and then I'll make a lot of profit. So, so how do you handle that? Am I doing am, am I that shifting of my stuff that's going down now? Am I doing well or am I taking too much? Because some trip when I go up, if the better pump and go back again and I'll be regretting if I have stayed. If I have stayed. I'll have enjoyed this trade. Because that's my question. Okay. Now we can we can't specifically tell that these are tokens that do that Hello. that reacts that way, okay? A lot of tokens happen that way. But we can't specifically say that this particular token is that this particular that is why I use the Bible scale order. All right? What a scale order allow me to do is set multiple trees. So instead of just leaving this thing to come to my stop loss, at times you just need to give your trade a space to breathe. So instead of allowing this thing to come to my stop loss yeah. and then still go back again, I will now use the Bible scale order to what? Yeah. To DCA into my position, to add more. Instead of some persons would do adjust stop loss and start adding margin and all of that. I don't do that. Okay. My trade is perpetually on cross margin. And then I will just use the scale order to add to my positions. And in every trade you are entering, you should make up your mind that I'm ready to re re lose this amount of money. Don't say because you always come to hit your stop loss before it goes into TP1 or TP2, you will always be adjusting your stop loss. The more you adjust your stop loss and it continues to go against you, the more you lose money, right? So if you always hit your stop loss and then go back, use the scale order type to adjust and extend your stop loss. Because what the scale order type does is that once an, an order triggers, okay, you now have three, like, um, you know, three or four different entries, okay? You can't do that now because there is no there is no money on this account, okay? You now have two, three different entries and all of that. Then at the end of the day, it gives you an average entering price, and that will save you the headache, okay? But mind you, when a trade goes wrong, the scale order will probably eat more of your money so always use this wisely and see how it goes all right we'll treat that separately right. maybe right. in another meeting but for now i think i'm exhausted i'll have to call it off right here
All right, so thank you very much. Sir. I'm grateful. All right, thank you, everyone. Take care. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Expect some signals. Uh, but for now, bye bye, everyone. If you can take advantage of the buy bid, um, you know, Hamster Combat giveaway, but if not, guys, uh, the airdrop you want to take very serious is card card. You don't need to do anything. As I said earlier, they will reward you according to the how long you've been using, just like dogs, okay? Just like dogs, then completely little, little tags and get some airdrop. And then we have uh, Bloom. Everybody's talking about Bloom and the rest. So do Bloom if you can. And some other that I've shared on Telegram. Take advantage of it. But if not, guys, you are done. Join us in trading every day. And I bet you that you never regret it. You can do spot. All my signals for as long as it is a long trade. When I say long, buy, long, buy, you can use spot to do those ones. The ones that you cannot trade on spot is when you say short or sell. Okay? Thank you so much, everyone. Do have a wonderful um, day. And always use stop losses. Okay? Every day is a learning day for us as traders. We keep growing every day, and I bet you, please get ready. Even if it means buying only on spot, hopefully between now and to the end of November or to the end of U.S. election, you should be able to make two, three eggs from whatever bags, you know, crypto bags you are buying right now, okay? Take advantage of it, and um, see you at the top, all right? Thank you so much, and uh, see you guys later. Thank you very much, sir. Have a nice day.